happy bank holiday Monday, everybody. New day, new boots though, clearly. So uh, I think for those that saw yesterday's video, and I really hope that the, t the numbers in the top or the bottom or wherever I put them for the money made and money spent keeps updating. Just so you know, the money made is probably not gonna update as quick as the money spent in the last couple of days because I'm just collecting all this stuff and this has been an idea that I'm winging with. But yeah, I'm coming to Croft Car Boot right now. Uh, this video is gonna just be hopefully in my eyes, just like long shots of my experience with the boot stalls and just kind of like going around in that direction, if you know what I mean. So like, we'll basically go around the boots uh, and, we'll, and we'll see how it goes. So for those that don't know, most of you probably won't. Yesterday's video, so the, the car boot sale, I kind of had like an intention. It's funny how things work out, isn't it? So um, the auction one I did that obviously got like 2000 views, uh, did what it did. And I was like, okay, maybe it's auctions or is it car boots? Who knows? So did the car boot one in a style that I thought would work the same way. And yeah, yesterday's video outperformed so far. I think on the screen, I'll show you. Uh, I think the first 24 hours, it's at like 430, 450K. So it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's quite a lot like of people like grabbing attention to that like pretty quickly. So. I did a part two, I think that had like 50k. Again, it's not like so much about the views, uh, it's just that like having the views there allows you to kind of understand exactly what it is that you're really doing with that, like what the intention is behind it. But less about flipping numbers spent. Nobody cares about that. They want to see what Tracy and Flippin Vera are popping out their boot today. And it's probably like Alice in Wonderland themed playing cards or something. So let's, uh, let's go and find out. This seems like a time like I need to grab this shot, so. I'll just essentially film my walking into it, seeing how it is, and we'll just take it as it comes. Obviously, it'll be quite, quite noisy, but you no, know, this one is obviously in its full effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just walk around and grab some of these first shots, and then we'll take it as it comes. But you'll see the. You see the ducking and weaving. I feel like people that are right at the front. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see that? That was some bobbing and weaving manoeuvre right there. Um, I feel like the people that are at the front of the car boots will have like the worst stuff. I know that sounds really tight, but like you think about it, if you're at the front, you've been the easiest access to absolutely everybody to come in. Um, you know, not to go into any weird route, but things that are normally like easy access uh, like you know it's less enjoyable but I'm just gonna literally what is that but I have to do anything freshly baked on all occasions that's meant to but yeah we're just gonna take a little loop around in fact okay hello people and welcome to another video of let's see how discoordinated everybody is at the car boot if you uh, can count how many people look at the camera whilst I'm filming it, you get a special prize on a live I might do. So yeah, right now, I'm just having a little walk around and what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna try and like get a good perspective on like where your eyes really go, where my eyes go. And if I'm being honest, like where people's eyes don't go. Because the whole main thing about uh, car boots is there's a massive disconnection with coordination just like it's just so many people like walking yeah. in absolute funny ways and the thing is is it's a bit like when you see somebody out on a walk and they've not got a dog it's like when you're at a car boot with a camera and you've got no one around it's like oh is this guy like I don't know does he work for Ofsted <laughs> Ofsted of car boots no but like um I don't know it's just just walking around giving you a feel of what this is like like to be honest I've just come to this one, which is Ross Carbu, it's, as you can see, it's absolutely ram to be honest with you. When I do the camera around the other side, <laughs> other way, you're gonna get a good feel of it. But yeah, there's loads of random bits. To be honest, this might be in itself, like the video that you wanna see. Let's go around this way. That, that sort of like narrative, like here's the car boot. So let's let this run. And you get a feel for it. I mean. Let's put the camera down here again, so, but yeah, I mean, nowadays, anybody films anything. I've walked down these about four times at this point now, but, um, so I'm not going to go through too many people's stuff, 
surprisingly, a lot of cars here for the public, but not as many people. Uh, with, I want to say with good quality stuff selling, to be honest, but with, like selling with stuff. What's he got on there? This is from Germany. Not that. From Germany, yeah. Lots of transit vans. I always think that if someone's got a transit yeah, van, they're normally uh, resellers, like wholesalers. So, yeah, what a lot of people tend to do, guys, um, how like the car booths really get broken up into what the people that are selling here. Okay, because, sorry about my fingers, that's getting on the camera. So, what people don't understand is that a lot of the stuff, there's a reason why you see sellers with transit vans, and there's a reason why you see, like, say, somebody like selling loads of like weird tools or different types of clothes or tags and stuff and it's because you also have people that use car boots as a way of siphoning off a lot of shit they get um, from like wholesaling lots so people that buy Amazon returns will typically buy them take all the good stuff out or basically take enough out to make the profit online and then use the in person as just like cash on the hip profit so they can get their, their profit almost just in cash not through the books really um, but also what people do with auctions for example is you can go to an auction let's go around there this is a nightmare um, with an auction you can go to an auction buy job lots like we've seen the other day what I'm hopefully going to show you a bit more is you can go to it you can buy a job lot of something like and it can be random random stuff and then you can just bring it somewhere like here and put it all out so like you know I went to an auction the other day I picked that pot of like crockery and stuff for like 15 quid all these lot do is they just put that on steroids probably get loads and loads of bundles from it from different people like you can get <laughs> this guy was talking about pallets from uh, airports yesterday people buy amazon returns there's all these different ways of like basically sourcing big bulks at low prices and then using things like car boots to just shift it out so you know the sweet spot of what people thought with car boots being somewhere where like it's purely for um, like you know the granddads and the mums that are selling their stuff that their son doesn't want look that son has taken them clothes he's put them on ebay and he's doing all that sort of stuff and the granddad that's here now has probably had his nephew or his grandson sorry go through and take all the best bits out so i think that when people like look at car boots you can get good stuff from them they can be successful for your business and it can be a good part of like what you do to buy stock or whatever like look this guy but one of them anybody that's got them is a reseller or if not somebody who doesn't want to carry a vase around which makes sense but that's a reselling tool 100 um but yeah the ecosystem of them is completely different there's just so many different complexities to it and uh, i think that like when you understand more about how car boots work you probably understand more about how it would work for you so Whoa, look at that, right in front of me, mate. Um, fuck's sake. Yeah, so when you understand like how it works a little bit more, like you can get an idea of like how much you'd want to really put effort into a car boot. Hang on. Right, Screaming Kids has got to be one of the shittest sounds you could ever hear in your life. I know that people have like kids and that's a part of like life, but at the same time, right, like don't bring them to a car boot on a bank holiday Monday when we're just trying to flip in. I don't know, there's loads of people out, we're just chilling. Just having a nice vibe. Oh. <laughs> um, it's just like, it's just like a complete discoordination. That's exactly what we do. So it's just fully like discoordinated stuff. But no, the, to be honest with you, this one, I got like this bag's worth of stuff. But still, you'd think, you'd think I'd have absolutely bagged it, wouldn't you? Even coming late, you'd think I'd have bagged it. But I'll be honest with you, there's, it's light on the ground. Uh, Sunny day, but I think that the bank holiday can have people going around the long way, mate. Uh, the bank holiday can just have people uh, questioning whether they want to just enjoy it rather than coming out and doing stuff like this. So it's nice. I like it because I'm just obviously making the content, having fun with the process. But yeah, it's still definitely one of them things. Uh, so many people, I, I wish you guys could see the other side of the camera where there's people, <laughs> there's people that are like this. <laughs> just like what's this guy doing talking to a camera why what are you doing um but yeah no i think it's time now to go and finish the end of my tiktok video and then come and get a flipping coffee mate i'm absolutely burst for a coffee so we'll go we'll go and get one and see what he's saying i'll be honest with you you probably need to do some pelvic thrusts after coming to a car boot and the reason why i say that is that the way you have to like scramble around people yeah just checking with your pelvic situation 
sounds mad i'm not a flipping chiropractor or a physio but i'm just somebody who has bobbed and weaved around people for about a couple hours every weekend for a long time uh but no anyway so we are just walking back now thought i'd use this moment to give feedback on what i thought i mean look car boots for me aren't somewhere that i go as a means of like hang on i need to sort this change out this in my pocket this all fell out otherwise we'll be rattling around together hang on this is this is one of the most unprofessional shots ever um no what i'm saying is that you know car boots aren't like it's not a staple piece of my diet but it's the thing i do that i in all honesty i'm doing this because i enjoy car boots and i actually enjoy the observational side of things i've spent so many years coming to these car boots being like let's see what i can get at 6 a.m look i don't care about buying stuff to resell to make a profit and stuff i know that's like the whole aim of it right and i do care because obviously i do it but like the intention with these videos is just to show you what people are getting rid of and if, if the car boot videos have success then i'm just going to keep doing what's successful so you know keep working with that formation see what works but with the stuff i've bought i will be going through the process of where I sell it and how much I sell it for because that is like as transparent as you can get and also these flipping uh, poles up here I forgot what they're called they're well noisy that's just helping me know that my car is a little bit further down but honestly like a stacked field I would have expected more than a little bag from this one uh, I've got more from the one that's smaller with less people and it probably tells you that when there's so many people uh, there's a lot of these like resellers at car boots that actually fill the numbers up. So I bet if you looked at it on a pie chart and was like, okay, go to somewhere like a corn car boot, like a small one that I go to, I bet you anything, 50 to 60% of them are just genuine getting, like are genuine booters, i.e. people that are getting rid of stuff. But if you go to someone like this, I guarantee you at least 60% of these people here have bought from auctions, bought from Amazon pallets or stuff like that. So it's a completely different audience. And if I'm being honest, like, it's just like Wilkinson's, but in a field. Like it's B&M, but in a field, right, when you've got stuff like that. Anyway, uh, this is really good. I don't know when I'm next gonna be getting clips and stuff, but I'm just gonna hopefully keep grabbing as much footage as possible and showing you the process. It's bank holiday Monday today, so I'm not sure. I might do a live. Uh, you know, does Spen actually take time off? What does his time off look like? Uh, no, I just don't film it yet, but I will be doing bits and bobs. First things first is actually looking for my van, as you can see. I'm actually looking like a meerkat right now. That one. This is everything that we picked up this morning. Railway, museum t-shirt, hard rock visor, Levi's 550, faded diesel tee, Addy Sweat 1, Addy Sweat 2, Steve Madden puffer, and then this cool vintage Adidas hoodie. In fact, I'm going to put this hoodie on. Fit chick, fit chick, fit check at the end. Mate, look at that. My thigh, bro. You're just joining me on a walk. This is like post uh, car boot, post everything. This place up here should have coffee until... 2 p.m. so i'm hoping to get one i know all i do is just go and get coffees but guys that's the life of a reseller staying caffeinated and just like going to car boots caffeination car boots charity shops all the c's c's and s's sustainability so, ooh, second hand all that stuff and that but yeah uh, i'm also a cheapskate parked on the side of the road so i don't have to pay a quid it's parking wow the brush just the brush the brad's just got me on car um so yeah, what I was going to use this video to actually say was that I am getting a coffee, but I'm planning to I'm planning to give a little bit of an update on anything that I'm doing. Basically, the posters, nothing sold. I've only put the posters up. I need to spend this week doing some of the other bits. But the only issue is, oh, there's disclaimers. No, what I'm basically saying is that um, because of our kilos there this week, that the day in life is going to show the scattiness on top of the scattiness. I'm going to basically, hopefully, just keep selling bits and bobs and I'm hopefully gonna just have the price there. But uh, if it's just zero for like a couple of days, don't shoot me, okay? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and get a coffee. Uh, the updates may be a bit intermittent today, but yeah, I'm just here right now and just uh, seeing how many people will look at me for talking to a camera right in a bizzle. Welcome to Safari Spen right now. We just, I thought, you know what? Let me just show you where I'm actually walking. So coffee has been secured. They told me it's actually open till four, so LOL. Kind of thing with bank holidays bank holidays sorry went so less than that you're expecting a lot of people to be just out because they're not used to being out whereas like a normal monday for me would just be sort of a similar formation to what i do just get up and crack on um you know but yeah part of it is also enjoying the luxury of how i sort of work now which is 
you know, less hours through a live stream and different ways of a capacity on a website means that I can come and get a coffee and have a little walk around here. But anyway, more importantly, let's have a little chat. Now, I'll be honest with you, because it's the bank holiday, there's a lot of people out in full force. Like, I'm very genuinely honest. It's like loads and loads of people, but as a time of ever, I mean, there's loads of people that I can hear that I can't see. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to like kind of finish on that point before I finish on the video, I think, today. So what my intention with these videos is, or what the intention, let me just walk this way, because it's just super amount of kids like running this way. What I've noticed, or like what I'm d discovering is that, oh my God, they're coming in all and directions. What I've noticed about the sort of video, or like the way that the life of a reseller is gonna kind of like unfold, shall we say, is that a part of what I still love to do is buy and sell. And a big part of what I wanna be more involved in is giving value to people. But I also want people to get value from me just by a byproduct of being a person. So I don't, the reason why I don't resell anymore isn't because uh, I wasn't any good at like any parts of it or like, you know, I still have a website, I still do all that, but my interest has, has switched from wanting to be a lot more, I guess, in front of the camera giving value, just working on content via that means rather than trying to sell a direct product. I guess you could say I'm selling myself, but I'm not selling out as a means of selling myself. I want to, you know, get engagement from people who like either, you know, who I am and what I represent, what I stand for. Maybe you like my humor or observation. Maybe you just like my perspective on fashion. Or, you know, maybe you just think, actually, let's just see where this guy's gonna go with his content. Like I say, day in, day out, we're gonna keep showing up every single day at 6.30 with a new video. And there's not gonna be a continual consistency of the direction. The life of a reseller is here now, and it might be gone in a couple of weeks, and I might be doing completely other things. Uh, I've got loads of ideas, loads of things that involve collaborating, loads of things that involve interacting with you guys, which is the most important thing because one thing I enjoy about YouTube, and this is why I had to reverse engineer it, is like, what do I enjoy about YouTube? I enjoy when I feel like I'm doing something with somebody, but I'm part of a team with the audience. So like, the guys that's doing the flip challenge, we all feel like we're doing them with him, don't we? Like when we watch it and he's like, I've just bought this for 10 pound, we're going there like, oh, is he overpaid, is he underpaid? So I want that interactive element with the content that I make, but I want it to come from an honest place. Like when I say with the auctions the other day, like the stuff I bought from the auctions the other day is not like stuff that I would have bought with the intention going, right, I've bought these posters because they're worth this much. That is me trying to be as much of a fly on the wall, average reseller, to try and make the videos so like open to the average person who's a reseller. Plus, I don't just wanna be doing clothes. I wanna see, because the reselling part of the process is like the element of buying, selling, and like, you know, repurposing in my way in a sustainable means. But there's so many ways. Um, there's some ideas that I've got where we might be buying pallets from airports. Did you see that going to me? Yeah. Pallets from like police auctions. There's so many things that uh, we're gonna unfold. And the aim of the game is you guys just feeling like you get value from me. You either have a laugh from something that I've said that's stupid or you just feel like a part of this because we're all a part of the same team, okay? Uh, we're all a part of the same thing. So if you guys are here and you're watching at this point, a big up to you lot, okay? Hang on, let me just finish this point in a second. Otherwise, I'll look up at nuts. I just felt like that was been a bit better to wait a moment. Also, the floor, not ideal for sliders. Why has he still got them on? Don't know. You want to see what's coming up? That. This is going to be my last shot of the day, just because it's not even late. It's only two o'clock. I've still got... Yeah, I'm not walking that way. Fuck that. I mean, stuff that. Um, sorry for my swearing. I'm not going to do too much filming today. This is going to be the last clip, uh, unless something drastic happens. I'm just actually going to take a little bit of time away from the phone. Sometimes I think as well, once I've made so much content, I've been doing the car boot one, I've been doing the auction one, I've been doing all this. Sometimes I have to take a moment to like reflect on what I've done and think about what worked well and actually understand what I've actually done. Otherwise, I'm just making stuff and putting it out there and going, I didn't learn anything from this. Uh, and I've learned things from the mistakes I've made this weekend with video content posting. I've learned from the ways that I, you know, anything I'm learning and I want to hope to instill the same process with you guys. So anyway, guys, have a lovely Tuesday by the time you're seeing this. Hopefully you've had a good Tuesday. Hopefully it's gone, gone well. Uh, this is actually Bank Holiday Monday. You're with your boy right now. 
and yeah my left arm oh it's gonna be super swollen soon you know uh because holding this phone like this is a workout anyway much love guys stay safe stay sustainable keep doing you keep watching the videos keep sharing them you know pass it on to a mate if you like i don't know but you know what keep doing you keep being original and most importantly just keep being yourself because there's no point being anybody else be yourself in a bit